Widex's optimized procedure involves a two-step centrifugation, which is demonstrated here, although concentration can be performed as a one-step process. Take the 500 milliliter vessel, now containing the filter eluate, and balance it ready for centrifugation. Tubes, buckets, supports and lids should be balanced with reagent water to a weight within 0.5 grams of each other. The recommended setup is a suitable floor or bench-mounted centrifuge, swing-out rotor, inserts and support cushions for 500 milliliter centrifuge tubes, RCF set to 2000 times G for 15 minutes, excluding ramp-up time. Acceleration set to maximum. Deceleration with the minimum amount of braking possible. Deceleration from full speed to zero should take at least seven minutes. Centrifuge should be located so as to minimize vibration. Centrifuge should be maintained in good working order and bucket supports should be lightly greased. Centrifugation using unsuitable equipment may affect recovery rates. Subsequently, equipment should be validated for suitability prior to use. Aspiration of the supernatant should be performed immediately following centrifugation using the following recommended setup. Peristaltic pump, silicon tubing, one milliliter serological pipette, wide bore disposable tips, flow rate about 200 milliliters per minute. Tips should be held at liquid surface. Tubes should be placed in a holder to minimize vibration. The sample should be aspirated to 25 milliliters. Next, vortex the sample at full speed for 20 seconds to disperse the pellet, extending the vortexing time if needed. Swirl and pour it into a 50 milliliter tube. Add the first rinse of 10 milliliters of reagent water into the 500 milliliter sample tube and vortex at full speed for 20 seconds. Shake the sample and pour into the 15 milliliter sample tube. Add a second 10 milliliters of reagent water into the sample tube. Vortex the sample at full speed for 20 seconds. Swirl the sample and pour into the 50 milliliter sample tube. Vortex the empty 500 milliliter sample tube to collect any residual liquid and add to 50 milliliter sample tube. Perform second centrifugation step. For the second centrifugation step, ensure that the inserts and supports for the 50 milliliter centrifuge tubes are balanced to within 0.5 grams of each other and then place into the centrifuge. Set the RCF to 1500 times G for 15 minutes, excluding ramp up time. Set the acceleration to maximum and deceleration to minimum with the least amount of braking. Deceleration without a brake is desirable. Aspirate to the three milliliter line of the 50 milliliter tube. Samples should be presented to IMS as soon as possible.